Thomas Ken here, your thrifty apprentice. Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome back into the studio. In today's video, we are going to be painting this composition, sort of an underwater scene, seaweeds, bubbles, paint splatters, all those good things. Um, it's going to be a really quick video today, guys. I have a lot going on. World Watercolor Month, trying to shoot all the videos for this week and next week. Um, just a lot. So today's video will be really quick and to the point, um, but let's go ahead and let's get into it. To start guys, we are going to wet the background of our paper completely. I am going to be using Mission Gold paints. You can check out the little card in the top right hand corner of the video if you're interested in a review on those. I'm using the Cerulean and the Ultramarine, which I added to the top of my paper. I just let it drip down. Everything is really watery, really wet. I want it to look like it was running, like we were underwater already. I'll give that time to dry, and then I'm gonna grab my Suzanne pencils to start doing the illustration. I started with the olive green color in the set, or well, what looks to be olive green because they don't have color names. And here I am just using some free Forming free free flowing <laughs> can't get that out free free flowing strokes <laughs> in order to paint um the seaweeds in you know just kind of wiggle your hand around so you can get some different shapes and then I'm gonna go ahead and color that in with the color pencil. I need to add in some shadow and you'll see I threw a little light bulb indication at the top right hand corner of the in that tape just so I could always remind myself where the light was coming from and I'm using the I guess if I had to shoot for it would be the more ultramarine or maybe phthalo blue color and I'm using that in order to add in the shadows on the left side of all of my seaweed and then I'm going back on top of that with the original green that I sketched and colored with. Now that was going, that blue mixed under that green is going to turn it into a darker shade and give me a natural looking shadow um, to the original green that we did the sketch with. So now here I have a damp brush, not a wet brush, a damp brush. Keep in mind with watercolor pencils, you just want to dampen your brush. Too much water is going to remove the pigment. Now, to the effect of these pencils, this is maybe the fourth little, fourth or fifth little illustration that I've done with them. Um, they are okay pencils. They really are. And I have a review that will be coming out on the channel um, next Friday. So stay tuned. Um, now I'm just going in and I'm just continuing to liquefy all of the seaweed. And as you can see, when you liquefy that color um, and disperse that pigment, it becomes more bright and saturated. The color in this green is actually really pretty. Um, now what I'm doing is I'm adding a second layer to that green and I'm mixing in the sap green from the Mission Gold watercolor set. So I guess this is sort of a watercolor pencil, watercolor painting set, uh, illustration, not set, illustration. Um, I splattered some paint in the background, just the different colors I have been using. And now I'm taking that same blue that I did the shadow on the seaweeds with and I'm drawing in my bubbles. Uh, wet brush. All you have to do is go around the outline of each of those bubbles and then drag that extra pigment in towards the center, making it light. Once I had the bubbles wet, I would then go back and drop either sap green from the paint set or some of the yellow from the um, watercolor pencil set. So just whatever was in the water around the bubbles i wanted to have it reflecting out of um the bubbles and since the seaweeds were the closest thing and they had the orange um, so they had the green and the yellow that i put in on the highlighting side of the um, seaweeds all should have been reflecting in the bubbles so i was trying to make sure that i captured that um and this is the bubbles are actually really fun <laughs> paint I didn't I had no idea I'm definitely going to do more illustrations like this I'm definitely going to try to pull off more uh complicated underwater scenes I really enjoyed doing this it was fun um I almost put too many bubbles in there I think now that I'm watching this back and kind of voicing over this video um in order to add a little dimension to those bubbles I went in with the black 
watercolor pencil. And just around the left side of each one of those bubbles, I did a little shading. Now I'm going in with my bleed proof white in order to do some highlighting um, on each of those bubbles, give them some roundness and dimension. Here goes the black fine line. I'm going to pull the tape off to reveal the white border and then we are going to wrap up the video. So there we have it guys. Another round with the Cezanne watercolor pencils. Um, at this point, between the last video we did on them and this video that I've done with them, use them in a couple of other projects, I feel like I'm at the point where I'm ready to review them. So next Friday, we will go ahead and jump into the review of the Cezanne 24 count professional watercolor pencils. So you guys be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll know when that video is going to come out and it'll send you a reminder. If you saw anything in this video that you like, any tips, tricks, or techniques that may possibly help you out, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Share the video if you care to. Sharing is caring and maybe someone else will grow from seeing this video. You can check out the video description for all of the relevant links. Paints, Pencils, Pastels, and Markers is the Thrifty Apprentice sponsored Facebook group. That link is in the video description. We welcome all artists and crafters. Um, there's a link for the most recommended product list as well as a link to the Etsy shop in case you decide you would like to support the channel. Thank you guys so very much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys back here Sunday. And as I tell you at the end of every single video, just keep painting and crafting.